These startling photos show horses emaciated and many with sores on their bodies. A harsh reality that has brought Mitzi Tate Zeller to our Southwest TV News studio. Tate Zeller is a local rancher who recently was made aware of a dire situation involving 11 horses pasturing near Swift Current. Tate Zeller and a few of her friends made a trip out to this pasture in question last week and were alarmed at the condition of the horses upon their arrival. Um, they, the whole field is dug up by the horses pawing through the snow trying to get to food. Um, I didn't note any water, fresh water available for these horses to drink. And um, I'm going to say that approximately half or more than half of the horses are in critical condition. Uh, the horses have, uh, several of the horses have injuries. Um, their winter coats are um, very thick and uh, coarse looking and uh, that's what happens to horses when they become malnourished is that they grow extra hair to try and keep themselves warm during the winter months. And uh, their uh, ribs are protruding. Um, they actually, some of them have their spines protruding, their hip bones protruding. Um, they have a shelf on, the, on their backs. And yeah, they're in pretty bad condition. Some of them were too weak to walk more than a few steps. Being an animal activist and an owner of many horses herself, Tate Zeller contacted the Saskatchewan SBCA about the horses and their current state of distress and a lack of food or water. And according to this email correspondence, an animal protection officer within the Saskatchewan Humane Society paid a visit to the owner's farm and several of the horses have already been relocated. A process which SBCA officials indicate varies from case to case. Our manager of animal protection services reviews the information and if it falls under our mandate, which is the Animal Protection Act, then the manager would assign the complaint to an animal protection officer. And then the animal protection officer would go out and conduct an unannounced on-site inspection to determine like, if the complaint is valid. And at some time, like, they might take uh, experts such as a necrologist, a feed specialist, a veterinarian. Uh, well, I, I guess there would be various uh, factors. I mean, they, they would be looking at, I mean, number one, they'd assess the body condition of the animal, animals. For example, like are they a body score of one to five with one being emaciated and five being obese? Uh, like are there any medical conditions? What's the, the water like? What's the feed like? What type of you know shelter do they have? Uh, you know, because a lot of times, uh, like we we'll use a veterinarian because they are the experts in animal health and well-being. And uh, like in order for us, like say, to seize livestock, uh, we would base that on a vet, vet's recommendation that the animals need to be removed to ensure their health and well-being. However, Watch reminds the public that animal protection laws have changed in Saskatchewan in recent months, with increased fines in place for those found guilty of causing harm to any animal. Yeah, it was 5000 for the first offense and 10000 for the second and subsequent, and now it's 25000 And as Tate Zeller continues to watch this case with a concerned eye and a genuine love for horses in her heart, she has offered to personally look after these horses or others in similar situations. With one clear message to all livestock owners. Is that if you're boarding horses or sending your horses away from training, you cannot necessarily rely on someone else to care for your horse. Please go and check on them, you know, because there's a very good possibility that some of these horses that are now in distress have been boarded, and obviously they weren't taken care of. And, uh, you know, you need to be responsible for your own animal. Even if you're not riding them during the, the horses during the winter, go out and check on them and make sure that they're getting adequate nutrition. If they're not, and you have them with a trainer or boarder that isn't taking care of them, then remove your animals. Southwest TV News will continue to follow this story as it unfolds.